Yes, uh, thank you very much for inviting me, and I'm uh, very glad to be here. I am very interested uh, in sharing all of the experiences uh, that I had, and uh, how much of your videos and the batch one actually uh, helped me to uh, achieve that. Yeah. So, uh, Amazon Web Services actually came to our campus. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm from RV College of Engineering, Bangalore. I am currently in my fourth year, and our placements uh, are undergoing. So AWS came to our campus for internship plus FT role, and uh, for the so basically the role was cloud support associate, uh, as you said. So we uh, I personally didn't have any idea uh, about the role. I was very well known about the company, but for the particular role, I didn't have any uh, basically the idea about the role. That what is the role is about? What are the responsibilities? What uh, as a cloud support associate I am uh, supposed to do? So as a uh, normal guy, I went onto YouTube, and the first video that I came up was uh, the Edumania, the uh, uh, channel of Vikas Bia. So uh, he has made a complete playlist of uh, his interview experience about his OA, about his technical round one, technical round two, and about the managerial round. So I had the source. Now I had the source about where I had to prepare, and uh, then I started my preparation. Uh, and recently, uh, at that time, his batch was launched. His batch one uh, of AWS course. So I was very fortunate to get enrolled in that batch. And uh, almost all of the questions. So, the, uh, so basically, if we talk about the interview process, first was obviously the online assessment. Around uh, around twenty two October, uh, we had our online assess. Uh, Uh, assessment of the CSA role, in which we had around three sections, because I was already informed about this by Bhaiya uh, in his post that we'll be having uh, three sections in the online assessment. First would be the case study section, second would be the behavioral section, and third would be the technical section. So I was already uh, familiar about the uh, OA pattern, as he already explained it. So I prepared for the OA. Uh, I had basic idea of computer networks. an operating system uh, from my course within my college and uh, i was also continuing the batch and the uh, online playlist uh, by bhaiya as well i was also referring to uh, computer networks uh, book and like uh, in my college only so uh, that actually helped me a lot so first process was online assessment uh, around 22 october uh, it took place and uh, so around 200 to 300 uh, uh, candidates in our college applied for it And uh, around 15 students from that 200 to 300 uh, candidates who applied were selected for the interviews. Now we were informed uh, that we would be having our interviews. So our interviews were scheduled on 14th of November. So I was uh, uh, like very much unaware about uh, what they would be asking. But uh, yeah, again I had the uh, support of the YouTube playlist that he has all already created, and the course was already going on. So the technical round one was completely based upon operating systems and a little bit of DSA, that is data structures and algorithms. Although the main focus was on operating systems. So, like to be honest, uh, almost all the questions were from Bayar's playlist only, because he said that the booting process would be asked. It was completely asked. He said that uh, the paging, segmentation, the concept of the operating system, the basic concept of the operating systems will be asked. So they were asked. There were some new questions. There were uh, some uh, new troubleshooting questions as well. But majority of the questions were that what we were studying uh, in the batch, as well as that what was available uh, in the playlist of the YouTube. So I would definitely recommend to, uh, like, if you are in this batch, I would definitely, so basically, I would definitely recommend to. uh like follow what uh, bhaiya is telling actually because all of the os the standard questions amazon will be asking uh in the os round one so some of the questions as i said were the booting process of the operating system the concept of paging uh, uh like the concept of virtual memory that bhaiya had already uh, emphasized about uh, it so the virtual memory and some troubleshooting questions that like for example how would you troubleshoot a slow system and how would you troubleshoot a heating system so these were some of the troubleshooting and the os questions uh, that were asked in round 1 so the first uh, uh, 
the round uh, was of opening system and we had it on 14 november around 10 uh, am and as soon as i uh, got my interview over about 45 to 50 minutes was the interview i got the information that i'm selected for round 2 and my round 2 would be uh, at 2 pm and that round that is round 2 of the interview is totally on computer networks so again uh, as i was so basically i was a uh, uh, little familiar about the computer networks uh, through my college and i had already prepared uh, from the playlist uh, and the questions that uh, bhaiya suggested so again <laughs> like majority of the questions were from that playlist only because there were some questions that bhaiya had already emphasized that uh, one question would be particularly asked that like what is the process behind www.amazon.com when you type it on the browser so that question was always asked and it was uh, asked in my interview as well uh he had also emphasized upon tc uh, p and ip models uh, tcp udp and uh, tls ssl security encryptions so all of the questions which were uh, given by uh, bhaiya the majority of the questions were asked by so ssl uh, encryptions tcp udp uh, the process behind www.amazon.com and some troubleshooting questions uh, such as uh, like others can uh, open a specific website but i can't access it so how can you uh, Uh, Double shoot that question. Also, one of the questions was the DHCP DORA process, which Bhaiya had already emphasized in his playlist. So that question was also asked around uh, DHCP DORA process and TCP three-way handshaking and the OSI reference model. So these were some of the basic questions of the uh, computer networks. Although the interviewers were very professional and uh, they also helped me uh, during my interview. Uh, so like around, so like from the fifteen students in round one. around 8 students were selected for round 2 and from the round 2 around 4 students were selected uh, in the managerial round and as soon as my uh, basically my round 2 got over around 2:45 pm i got the notification that i am selected in the round 2 and my managerial round is scheduled at uh, uh, three pm so at 3 pm i had my managerial round again i was very nervous because uh, it was just 2:45 pm and my uh, interview was scheduled at 3 pm only at the same day so uh, at last i went in the interview and the interviewer were again very professional around 10 plus years of experience a very professional lady uh, he made uh, so basically she made me very comfortable and some of the questions uh, that managerial uh, round focused upon basically it focused upon uh, what is your attitude and what are the situations that you have already faced basically the behavioral questions again uh, we has already made a playlist uh, in the youtube so the majority of the questions were again from that uh, like for example a tell me a situation uh, when you fail to meet a particular deadline for a project and one of the question was what is your greatest working achievement uh, also like tell me about your best projects and uh, let's say uh, they also uh, uh, asked me about what are the decisions that were earlier wrong that you made so all of the questions that were already uh, present on net as well as the playlist majority of the questions were from that so aws actually follows a very standard procedure and the questions are also very straightforward uh, if you have prepared very nicely for it so this was the managerial interview so it was also around 45 to 50 minutes uh, around four students uh, gave this interview from our college and after two weeks i got the uh, good news that i'm selected uh, for uh, the cloud support associate role at uh, uh, amazon web services and then i contacted bhaiya i wanted to thank him uh, on linkedin i also wanted to thank him through mail but i didn't have uh, his mail so i contacted him on linkedin and uh, yeah so overall uh my standard preparation strategy uh, was referring to my uh, college notes as well as the playlist that uh, edumania has already made i am not being uh, very uh, like i'm not basically it's not like bhaiya has told me to uh, say all this but actually the edumania channel uh, so basically like if you focus upon the questions the quality of the questions he has put we know that all the standard questions that most of the chances are that amazon will be asking those questions because those are some standard questions and some troubleshooting uh, questions that are already being asked earlier also to other candidates so i would recommend to all the uh, uh, students who are preparing uh, for it to actually focus upon the questions that uh, he has suggested because the majority of the questions in your interview might also be uh, the same yeah so this was my little uh, 
interview experience. I hope you uh, like it. Definitely, we are the coding. A question also that was asked was to find the maximum and the minimum uh, element of the array. So we were just checking that whether I am comfortable with writing a particular or a small program in any kind of language or not. Uh, she already stated that uh, like this is just for uh, identifying whether you are comfortable with the language. But yeah, uh, as you said, uh, that was not uh, the affecting my interview. So the first round was actually focused upon operating systems. Aryan, uh, how many questions they were asked you in your first interview and second interview? Yeah, so like in the first interview, around nine to ten questions were asked, and uh, because, so because uh, as the uh, interview was about forty-five minutes long, so around nine to ten questions, standard questions, and uh, uh, one to two troubleshooting questions, uh, based upon the speed uh, in which you are answering. If you are taking uh, much time or detailed time to answer, so they would be restricted in asking less questions. But standard of nine to ten questions are generally uh, asked uh, in mind. Hello, Aryan. Hi, Manol. Uh, so basically, I'm also a fourth year student at Hyderabad. Mm-hmm. So basically, I'm also interested in joining CSA role, and I'm even certified uh, with AWS certification, and I even have some basic experience in. Uh, all the AWS services even, and I'm good with networking and OS as well. But the thing is, I'm not getting chance to get into the AWS as I'm not graduated yet. So, is there any chance of getting internship off campus? Like, or I need to complete the complete graduation and then I need to get into the CSA role in FTE. Yeah. So, uh, in my case, the company came uh, in our campus, but. as you might have seen in the youtube videos and bhai have also explained that he uh, uh, was earlier working in bosch company and he got the uh, offer out so basically the opportunity off campus so aws so basically you can definitely get the opportunity off campus uh, by applying uh, uh, through the website uh, of the aws so it's not like they only hire through uh, on campus but yeah you can uh, get the opportunity to uh, apply the offer thank you aryan Thank you.